growing up, he may see our parents as, okay, why are they telling us to do this? Why are they telling us to do that? But at the same on, time, he tell, he tell, he tell, they're telling us for a right reason. Yeah, Even right. though we may not understand it, there's a reason behind a, a parent's instruction. Amen. Come on, come on, it's the right. same thing it is with God. Sometimes God has us doing stuff that we don't even know, don't feel comfortable doing. Come on. But there, there's a, always a reason behind this instruction. Come on. Come on, he, he loves it. He loves those he chastens. Amen. Yeah. So when you, he has us doing something that, that seems out of pocket or something that seems off-putting, just go follow through with it. Amen. Just go yes, through yes. with it. Yes, yes, yes. So as we go forward from life, we have to make sure that when our parents are doing telling us to do something, or let alone our father, I have a father telling us to do something, that we just follow through with it. Yes. Because we'll see something better on at the, at the other side. Amen. 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 Am
something about coming in the house and worshiping and praising with other saints who don't mind worshiping and praising with you. I get excited. So something stirs up in me when I know I get an opportunity to praise God with other people who don't mind giving God a true praise. Because he's looking for true worshipers. And he's looking for true worshipers. And he's looking for true worshipers. And he's looking for true praisers.
and I trust that you are sitting with the mindset to receive. I ask that we all stand. Hallelujah. And let's just begin to give God glory for this woman of God. Come on, can we put our hands together for the woman of God as she comes forward? I introduce this song and I present to others Elder Melvina Carpenter. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. Come on, can we put our hands together for Jesus in this place? Amen. He's in the room. Hallelujah. Come on, look at somebody and tell him he's in the room. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's in the room. Amen. We bless him on this morning. Amen. We love him on today. Amen. Can we put our hands together for Pastor and Evangelist yes. Wright? Yes. Amen. Mr. Carpenter, God bless you. Amen. Elder Holmes, bless you. Amen. Amen. Our wonderful presider on this morning, Teacher Louie, God bless you. Amen. Amen. He, he should have gone on and preached. I was all right. Amen. Amen. I was, I was, I was Ronnie over there nodding his head. I was in the flow. I was I was with that. He had the Superman book bag and every Spider-Man book bag. I was, I was good to go. Amen. Glory be to God. We bless God for him. Thank God for Corinthia doing the prayer yeah. on this morning. Amen. Brother Ronnie came with the scripture. Yeah. Amen. Bless you. Amen. To our awesome praise and worship leaders. We say God bless you. Amen. We have got one visitor, amen, on this morning. My uh, friend and client, Sister Candace, over here, wave and wave to her and say God bless you. Amen. I'm happy to have her here. Amen. We thank the Lord for you, 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 and especially you. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Go with me in your Bibles to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. Verse 9. Galatians 6 and 9, and it reads, amen, when you have it. Amen. amen. Let us not get tired of doing good. Some version says, grow weary. For we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Amen. amen. I'll read that again. Let us not get tired of doing good. For we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell a neighbor. Neighbor. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, look at somebody else and tell them. Encourage somebody else and tell them. Neighbor, whatever you do. Whatever you do. Don't give up. Don't give up. Glory be to God. Come on, put your hands together for that right there. Hallelujah. Whatever you do. Don't give up. Amen. It's Youth Sunday. Amen. But this message is for everybody. Amen. And we're living in a time now where people have become tired. People have become tired. And Galatian comes to encourage us to not become tired to not grow tired, to not grow weary in doing the right thing. Weariness, by definition, is a feeling or showing of tiredness, especially as a result of excessive exertion or lack of sleep. If 
I could pause there for a moment, the people in the world system are sleeping. They go to bed at night and they sleep well. But it seems as if the people in the body of Christ are the ones who are complaining about not getting rest. Can I talk to you just for a minute? Amen. Don't you know that the lack of sleep and the lack of rest, it causes you to be stifled in your daily routines. It causes you on the next morning to not be able to have food for the brain, to be able to get done your daily activities, your daily duties. It helps you to not be fully productive as a student, as a mother, as a father, a husband, a wife, a friend, a sister, a brother, a boss, an employee, driver on the road. Don't you know that a tired driver is just as bad as a drunk driver? Yeah. Amen. This is how important sleep and rest is. And many of us are running and we're doing, and we're doing for God, and we've exerted ourselves to the point of weariness. But get this, we are doing for God, we are busy for God, but are we spending time with God? Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Many pastors on today, when service is over, or especially first Sunday, while they have on the collar, going to run to the hospital. They're going to go and eat collard greens, red rice, macaroni and cheese, some good old cornbread. And they're going to go to the hospital. They're going to go give communion. And they're going to be going all day with the pleasure of sitting in their lazy boy late that night and saying, I've been out doing the Lord's work. But if you sit them down and ask them, out of the hours of the day that you've been doing the Lord's work, how many of those hours did you spend with God? It's a lot less. God is not occupied with your clock in time. In busy Am I preaching good, Jason? With your busyness for him. He is more concerned about your time with him. He'd rather you spend five minutes on the phone checking on somebody and an hour in prayer with him than five minutes in prayer with him and an hour on the phone checking on somebody. Because we've got it twisted. We want kudos from people. Mm -hmm. And getting kudos from people is what's wearing. Come on, am I talking to anybody? Getting kudos from people is what's going to wear you out. Oh, yeah. come on. And yeah, yeah. Getting kudos from people is what's going to drive folk insane. When you sit back and you spend time with God, then Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 comes into play. He'll get a pen. He'll get an eraser and say, you got this calendar? Let me go ahead and erase all this stuff because you've taken time to talk to me. Hallelujah. And I've orchestrated your day. I told you what I want you to do versus what you think I want you to do. Because at the end of the day, you are limited, but he is limitless. Amen. He does not slumber nor sleep, but you have to. Can I talk to y'all for just a minute? Oh, yeah, that's real. We are growing weary. Pastors have been committing suicide. Lead leaders have been committing suicide. Pastors' wives have been committing suicide. Praise and worship leaders committing suicide. People walking away from the faith because they are growing weary, because they are busy for God, but not spending time with him. With him. Tell somebody you need to spend time with God. Yeah. 
If you spend more time with God, your calendar would be a little bit more empty. That's it. Because you are busy does not mean that you are godly productive. That's it. That's right. Amen. Some people feel more important, April, because they've been busy. Busy idol. My God. They feel better about themselves, Sister Cherie, because they have a list that they can check off for the day. Well, I took grocery to Sanaya at school. I dropped off some tennis shoes to Journey. And I dropped off lunch to Shayla. And I went to April's job and saw her. And then I went by uh, Jason's coaching team and saw them on, on the team and, and watched them. And then I went to Shonda's job and said hi to her. And drove all the way to Mount Pleasant and did this. And drove all the way to Mount's Corner and did that. And you have this list. But God was nowhere in the list because throughout the day when you ran all those errands, he didn't tell you to do any of them. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't want me to talk in here today. He didn't tell you to do any of them. It's just the niceness and the kindness of your heart. But he never said. And then we get mad, Jantasia, when it's our turn to be in need. Uh-oh. And nobody shows up. Lord Jesus, come on. Oh, God. Come on. Can I talk to you for a minute? So even as leaders, because see, we got Levites in here. Levites are leaders. You've got to sit back even as Levites and say, Lord, is it your will for me to go to the hospital? That's right. That's exactly it. That's it. I know that sister died, but do you want me to go to the house and that's see right. them? Come on. I know that's what we're used to doing, but am I supposed to? and put my feet up in the lazy boy right now and just pray? Or do you want me to leave my house and go? Come on. You freaking good. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Because see, we want Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 to apply when it's convenient. He didn't say for it to apply when it's convenient. He said in all, all, mean all, everything. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Everything you do, acknowledge it. He's trying to teach you how to not become weary. That's right. When you work out. Come on. They tell you when you do your reps, when you lift in weights, when you feel tired, the key to finish your reps is to take a deep breath. You inhale and then you exhale so you can finish your reps. Amen. Went to the doctor. Lost 25 pounds since March, praise Jesus. Amen. 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 Went to the doctor. And she said, how you doing with your working out? And I said, well, I walk about 45 to 60 minutes a day, and then I do about 30 minutes of core. She said, you're over 40. You can't do 45 minutes to 60 minutes of cardio. She said, your body is not going to respond to that. She said, you're over 40. Your bones are changing. You need to lift weights. Amen. She said, you only need 25 minutes to 30 minutes of cardio, and then you do your strength training. Amen. So I had to put E2M to the side and remember what they taught me and just do my cardio and lift my weights and eat right. I'm going somewhere. And so Minister Carpenter would walk with me, and then we would go in the room, and I would lift weights. And so one day I said to him, I said, why don't you lift some weights with me? Because he likes going to the gym and I don't. And so we're lifting weights and I said, I want you to do 25 of these reps. And so he's doing the reps. And he said, I didn't realize these weights were that heavy. So he's doing the reps and he said, my, my arms. And I said, take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. And I said, and then you'll be able to finish the last couple of them. And he said, that works. The enemy wants you. Just before you get to the end of your reps, to become tired and quit. Just when you're at the end of your assignment, he wants you to become weary. He wants you to reach your point of exertion. But that's when the Lord wants you to take a deep breath. This is when the Ruach, the breath of God, breathes upon you and gives you new strength. Come on. This is when the joy of the Lord enters into your heart and says, come on, you can talk to me a 
little bit longer. Come on, you can read your word a little bit longer. Come on, you only got 35 more minutes of this fast. You can go 35 more minutes without this food or drink. You can do it. But the enemy will make you feel as if you can't go any longer. Tell somebody, whatever you do, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't give up. Weariness is becoming physically or mentally exhausted by hard work. Get this. Some people become weary or tired, and they're not doing nothing. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Doing nothing. How do you become tired just sitting still? Becoming weary or tired also means to become bored, lacking energy or enthusiasm. And this is what has happened in the body of Christ. The enemy comes, and he does this. He fans the people of God to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What used to excite you about the word of God no longer excites you anymore. And then pride sets in. And so when the preacher gets up and reads the scripture, pride sets in and you say, oh, I already know that scripture. Right. That's it, that's it. They coming from that old simple scripture again? There's nothing there for me. And so then weariness sets in. And now you're yawning and you're fanning and you're hot and you're tired. And you've got to go to the bathroom. And all these things comes as a spirit of distraction. Because the enemy does not want you to get the fuel that you need for the week. Because what you don't understand is as soon as you walk out of this door or on tomorrow, something may hit you that you'll have to look in the mirror and say, Lord, I'm tired. And then this message is going to come back where he says, don't grow weary. Thank you, Father. That's good, that's good. Thank you, don't Father. grow weary. That's good. And doing good. Amen. For in due season you reap if you don't paint. Yes, sir. Every now and then I make jokes with my husband. I'll tell him I'm tired of being responsible. tired of being the responsible one. Sometimes I want to be irresponsible. Sometimes I, I want to be the one that my parents can't depend on. Can I be real? Sometimes I want to be the one that my siblings can't depend on. Sometimes I want to be the one that nobody can't reach. But when that's your assignment, tell somebody that's just your assignment. Some people are anointed for the responsibility. Sister April and I talk about this all the time, how some children are just more responsible than others. Some of them you can depend on more than others. Some of them you just know that they're going to get it done. And then when, when that one falters, it's like your whole world just gets shattered because you never expected. But let me tell you something. Even as parents, you still cannot grow weary. Parents, you can't grow weary with your children. You you still have to parent them. Jason, I had somebody tell me, well, my children are grown. I'm done parenting them. I don't care if they're 100. You'll never stop being a parent. I don't care if they cut up seven days a week. You still cannot grow tired of being their mother. You cannot grow tired of being their father. If you've got to tell them the same thing every day, ten times a day, you can't grow tired. God never got tired of you. Never. Well, I thank you. He never got tired of you. Thank he you, still shows up for you. He still provides for you. He still makes ways for you. He still opens doors for you. He still gives you grace. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You cannot afford to grow tired. You cannot afford to grow weary. The enemy would love nothing more than for you to pick up your towel and not just throw it in, but go in the backyard and set it on fire and say, I'm done with God and I'm done with church. But I dare you to tell the devil, I'm not going to quit. Come on, I, I need you to say, devil, I'm not going to quit. Come on, I'm in this thing for the long run. Come on, for the rest of my life, I'll be doing this. Come on, for the rest of my life, I'll 
life, I'll be preaching. For the rest of my life, I'll be serving them. For the rest of my life, I'll be worshiping. For the rest of my life, I'll be praising. Hallelujah, I'll never stop. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, if they take my voice box, my mind will praise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, my heart will worship. Hallelujah, my spirit will preach. Hallelujah, if I've got to write a book about a sermon, glory be to God. The message will still come out. Glory be to God because what's in you, it's got to be released. That's why you can't grow weary. The enemy wants you to grow weary because what God has assigned to your hand, somebody might try to duplicate it, but nobody can do it exactly the way you can. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Love me some good old macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I've tasted a few over the years. Hallelujah. But nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, yeah. makes it like Kathy Wright. Yeah. Glory be to God. Eating good with Billie Jean. Hallelujah. Glory to Jean. Your anointing, your anointing. 
anointing can heal everybody in your office. When you're anointed, hallelujah, you're anointed can save somebody's marriage. When you're anointed, glory be to God, it can cause somebody to be turned around. When you're anointed, you can't grow weary. You can't give up. You can't grow in the power. You can't walk away. You can't run away. You can't give up on your children. You can't give up on your marriage. You can't give up on your family. Tell somebody, whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. Glory be to God. Whatever you do, don't you dare give up. Hallelujah. There's purpose for your pain. Hallelujah. There's purpose for your pain. Hallelujah. I know it don't feel like it. Sometimes it feels like God forgot about you. Sometimes it feels like God, I've been in this thing too long. Hallelujah. Song says, I've been in the storm too long. And you have to act the Lord. When will the rain stop? Oh when will the lightning stop flashing? When will the thunder stop rolling? Oh God, when will the lights come back on? Because I've been in the dark for so long. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, scripture says, weeping may endure for only a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Don't Grow weary in doing good, for in due season you'll reap if you do not sin. You've got to hold on, get a real good grip, and hold on, and don't let go. And when you become tired, hold on a little bit higher. And when you become tired, then take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Hold on a little bit higher. But whatever you do, whatever you do, don't quit. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15 and 8, 15 and 58. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, be steadfast, unmovable. Hallelujah. Always excelling, abounding in the Lord's work. Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. Glory be to God that our labor in the Lord has been in vain. Glory be to God. I believe that when I stand before him and he rolls back the curtain, hallelujah, of, of memories now and then, I believe he's going to show me all the mornings I press my way, all the nights I press my way, all the times I pray and nothing but tears fall. And I said, Lord, I hope you understand the language of my tears. I believe, hallelujah, he's going to show me all the times I flip through the Bible just seeking him for a word for his people. I believe he's going to show me all the times I encouraged his people when I really needed somebody to encourage me. All the times I prayed for his people when I needed somebody to pray for me. All the times when I preached to his people when I needed somebody to preach to me. All the times when I sung for his people when I needed somebody to sing to me. I believe he's going to tell me Yeah. 
For in due season, you'll reap if you do not faint. Isaiah 40 and 31. Hallelujah, I'm almost there. Isaiah 40 and 31. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40 and 28 to 31. Hallelujah. It says, do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never becomes faint or weary. There is no limit to his understanding. Get this. He gives strength to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Youth may become faint and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. Scripture says, wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 28 says, do you not know and have you not heard? Beyonce says, you must not know about me. But I've got news for Beyonce. She must not know about God. He says, do you not know? Have you not heard? He is the everlasting God. He is the creator of the whole world. And there is no limit to his understanding. He never grows faint. So when you feel tired, you can lean on the arms of Jesus. You can run to him. For he is. For he is. The I am. For he is. The strong power that the righteous can run to. And they are saved. For he is. The battle act in your Isaiah 45, 22. Uh, glory be to 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says, turn to me and be saved. All the ends of the earth. Why? For I am God. There is no other. When you become tired, when it feels like you're becoming tired, when it feels like you're on the verge of getting up, stop running to people. He says, turn to him. Because he is God. There is no other. You pastor can't do it so much. We can't do it so much. But if you turn to him, there's a whole lot he can do. He can do more than you can comprehend. He can do more than you know of. He can do more than you can ask. Yes, 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 yes. Last scripture. Joshua. Go with me to Joshua 1. Joshua, Joshua. Joshua's hiding from me. Yeah, come on, Joshua. Come on. In the room. I got a new Bible. I got a new Bible. Isn't she pretty? I got a new pretty Bible. Glory be to God. Joshua, chapter 1. Verses 5 through 9. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. For those of you who feel like you're right on the edge. Hallelujah. Breaking down. Anastasia, don't break down. Hallelujah. You're right on the verge of the breakthrough. You can't that's afford that's to that's break that's down. That's now is the time to get new strength. Yeah. Now is the time to get the rest of Put on some lashes. Put on some lip gloss. Put on some heels. And say, I feel some new strength. I dare you to jump up and say, I feel some new strength. My name is Samson. I feel my hair growing. Hallelujah. His hair was in secret. When his hair grew, he got strength. I feel the new strength. Glory be to God. When I felt weak in yesterday, I feel strong in today. I got new strength. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He says in verse 5, no one will be able to stand against you. Hallelujah. As long as you live, I will be with you. Just as I was with Moses, I will not leave you or abandon you. Get this. When you're feeling like you're going to be weary, he says, be strong and courageous. For you will distribute the land I swore to their fathers to give to them as an inheritance. Tell somebody this proves. You about to get your stuff. Uh, this proves it. Verse 7, he says, above all, so he tells him again, be strong. And he says, very courageous to observe carefully the whole instruction. The what? The whole. The whole. The half. All. One fourth. All. One third. All of the words. The part you like. All. The part that's convenient all for you. The whole instruction. The whole the whole instruction. My servant, uh, Melvin, Kathy, Melvina, Willie, uh, Louie, uh, Antonio teaches you, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or the left so that you will have success. Where? Wherever you go. Wherever. And they move you from the window office to the back office. But tell somebody I'm still be you can put me on the roof in the hot sun and I'm still telling oh, somebody I'm still going to be successful I'm still going to be successful oh God hallelujah it don't matter where you put me God is still Do not be afraid or discouraged 
For the Lord your God is with you uh -huh. wherever you go. Where are we? Look That's at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Come on, come on, come on, tell somebody else, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't quit. Don't quit. Everybody, don't quit. On. Don't quit. On. Whatever you do, don't quit. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Don't quit. Whatever you do, don't quit. Don't quit on him.